Good afternoon, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now coming to you from our digital desk. We have two new pieces of video in, uh, one from uh, the Cleveland Police Department, uh, the other from dash cam uh, from a, per a personal uh, individual's vehicle that shows the actual moment an individual, a 31 year old man was shot in the parking lot of Giant Eagle on West 117th, just off of 90. This happened last Thursday at about 5.30 in the evening. I wanna to get to first uh, the suspect in this case. Uh, this picture given to us by the Cleveland Police Department. Uh, the man is described as a tall uh, man at, uh, let me get the exact height, six foot six, 150 pounds and would be driving what they're describing as a red Dodge Nitro SUV, uh, had a black front bumper, but that's pretty noticeable. Six foot six, long dreads, uh, this as soon as we get this out, and uh, that's one of the reasons we like to do this on our social media pages is that you can share this video and that is a pretty good look at the suspect in this shooting. Uh, and we're about to show you the shooting itself. But again, a look at the suspect described as six foot six, 150 pounds. That's pretty tall and pretty skinny uh, driving a red Dodge Nitro SUV. Uh, before we show you the video of the individual who was shot, I want to warn you, this is a little tough to watch, but we do know that the 31 year old survived. He was shot in the stomach, and I want you to, as we start to play this, uh, you're going to keep your eye on the left hand side of the screen. It was an argument between the man you see in the t shirt and the man pulls a gun, puts it to his head, pushes it away, and right there uh, you see the impact. You see his t shirt. Uh, sort of bulge out the driver of this vehicle as you see also had a gun and it appears that driver returned fire. We're going to show this to you a couple of different times. Uh, now we're going to switch to the front view. You're going to see the man who was shot there in the yellow T-shirt go down as he's grabbing his side and other people coming to uh, his aid. But again, we'll show it to you because it does happen so quickly. The argument between the passenger and the man outside this six foot six individual and you see him pull the gun and he puts it right to the head of the man in the light t-shirt right there on the left side of your screen. The driver senses something's going on and right there is the shot. You see his t-shirt puff out. It looks like the bullet went through and may have even hit something inside that vehicle because you kind of see some dust fly up in front of the camera. Uh, so that bullet may have gone all the way through and then hit somewhere in the vehicle and the driver who had gotten out, he returned fire again. Here's uh, the 31 year old man going down after being shot. He was taken to the hospital. He did survive. Uh, that is why we are showing you if he did not survive, we more than likely would not have shown you this video. Uh, but again, the altercation, the gun to the head pushes it away and shoots him in the stomach anyway. And then the driver at the back of the vehicle with a gun, it appears to return fire. You see the uh, the top of the gun jerk back a couple of different times, which uh, would lead you to believe he also discharged uh, a weapon. No word from Cleveland police if the suspect was shot in all of this. Uh, but we wanted to get you the video again. Let's take a look at the suspect. That is how important this is. If this individual was willing to pull a gun in a parking lot, uh, put it to a person's head and eventually shoot them in the stomach, what else are they capable of? We need to get this individual off the street. Uh, very recognizable, long dreadlocks, looks like braids or dreads, uh, tall at six foot six, 150 pounds, according to the Cleveland police. And you see there the uh, Dodge Nitro SUV. It does not look like any front license plates. Uh, on that vehicle, which uh, again, uh, this would have to be an easy recognition for someone out there uh, that could call police. They are asking for people with information. I want to make sure I get this right too, uh, to call the first district detectives office uh, for the Cleveland Police Department. Again, this took place last Thursday at about uh, 530 in the evening. It started as an altercation, an argument uh, between the two individuals on the left side of the screen. And right there was the shot uh, into the stomach of the 31 year old. Again, I want to reiterate he did survive. He was taken to the hospital. Uh, and we're waiting for details on from the police department. Uh, the other man who returned fire, the driver of this vehicle where the video came from, 
Uh, what, did he hit the suspect? Is that individual facing any kind of charges? We will wait to uh, hear more on that from the Cleveland Police Department. Again, very important for you to share this video. Uh, this is how it works. We've seen this work with missing people, uh, with missing children. When these videos get shared over and over and over again, uh, the better likelihood that a tip gets generated and we get this individual off the street. Again, pretty brazen, 5.30 in the afternoon in a grocery store parking lot, willing to put out a, pull out a gun and put it to the head of somebody he got into an argument with uh, and then pull the trigger. If you have any information, please call the Cleveland Police Department or the 1st District Detectives Office. We'll have more on this coming up in our early news at 3 o'clock uh, when we have three and a half hours of the most uh, up to date breaking news and our weather forecast. Remember today and tomorrow our first alert weather days expecting quite an impact for our eastern communities as snow is going to start to roll in later today. Until then, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now. Have a good afternoon. 19 News. First. Fair. Everywhere.